So let's talk about how to cut your own seams on your UVs using UV Unwrap to crease edges. So if you go down to our in our tool palette to our UV Map sub palette, we have an option here for Create Projection, as we mentioned in the previous tutorial, but now we also have Create Unwrap. And Create Unwrap would allow you to choose to either auto-seam your unwrap, which is essentially what UV Master was doing, or to use your creased edges. In order to crease the edges, we're gonna either have to use our creasing menu or our Z Modeler brush. So if we go to our Z Modeler brush, I have it over here on a custom toolbar, and we wanna change our edge loop actions to crease, edge loop partial. I want my face actions to do nothing. And I want my point actions, this is the most important part, to do crease, by shortest path. This means that if I touch on one point and then tap another point, it's gonna to try to find the shortest path between those two points to create a crease. And you can already see where I'm going with this. So what I'm going with this is like, I wanna seam right down the middle from the hairline. So I can just tap that point. And actually I wanna tap that space bar to, um, to reset that. So I wanna tap that point. And then I want to go down through the middle here and tap that point. And now you can see we have a crease right down the middle there. And now we can also do the ears. So for example, I want to go in and I want to tap that. I want to tap that and go around this ear. So I can go around like so. I'm going around that ear until I actually go in and have a crease around that ear. Same thing goes for the eyelids. So Let's say I want to crease over here. So now I have the edge action set to crease edge loop partial. And obviously this is not going to work because there's some weird geometry happening over here. So I'm going to actually click that point. And after I click that point, I'm going to actually go in and click another point somewhere else. And same thing goes. So we want to make sure that our UVs have a, like a hole over here. And now what I want to do again is go around that loop. So I'm going to tap that one and then tap the original point, which is over there. And we have our creases. So now if I go down to my UV sub palette, create unwrap with creased edges turned on, I can click unwrap. And now if I flatten this, if I go over here on the top and click morph UV, you can see that we have created a crease down the middle. Obviously we have some distortion over here and the neck is also a big uh, point big problem, but we can see like we, we have a starting point, which then we can go over and let's say I want to do like this. So I can actually even just polygroup this and then crease by PG. So I can click that and then click that middle point again. And now if we do the same thing, we go over here and click on wrap and then we morph it again. You can see that that is now its own separate shell. Now obviously we still have a lot of work here with the mouth and the nose but you can see the point and how fast you can get some manual crease selection using your UV map palette. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.